Welcome everyone to part four of Conley Stinger 609 drag boat project. Anyway, just want to take a moment to let you all know too, at the end of this video, I am going to attempt to link another video to this one. It's short, it's only about a minute and a half, and it shows the uh, process of water dipping. If you're not familiar with what water dipping is, I will talk about that more here in a little bit. But anyway, this is obviously the boat that I'm modeling mine after, which is Problem Child. And uh, basically, I want to take a moment and I want to go over here and I want to um, highlight and give some props to some of the companies that are helping me out um, with products, services, etc. And for any of you that would be interested in building something that I'm like I'm building, um, basically the first company, of course, that you'd have to come to see would be High Performance Products. Um, high Performance Products, and here's a picture of their uh, um, information. Um, basically, they're in Huntington Beach, California, and there's a phone number there. There's their um, uh, website available as well. Um, if you're interested in purchasing the hull, uh, transfer case, V drives, um, basically the rudder assembly, uh, fuel tank, etc., um, those are the guys, you know, uh, struts props uh, these guys have got it all um, David's a really good guy he'll take care of you um, next person I want to feature here is the cutting shop here in uh, Garden City Idaho he's been a tremendous help to me um, Jerry's a really awesome guy and I will talk a little bit more about what he does for me here in a little bit um, and then uh, the video that's gonna be coming up at the end of mine um, is gonna be compliments of hydro dip here in Meridian Idaho um, and uh, Scott and his brother Todd and the whole group over there, they're a bunch of really good guys. Um, I'm going to go over here and try to get in a little bit closer so you can get all their information there. Um, go to hydrodip.com, uh, check out their site, it's really amazing. They can do a lot of crazy stuff. It's all water graphics. And then after that, um, it's the anodizing shop um, here in Garden City, Idaho as well. And these guys did some anodizing for me. And uh, there you go. Um, I've been postponing this video. I've been waiting for parts to come back from a chrome shop. I've actually got some parts that are being uh, um, nickel plated and these guys are just got to be in slow so I'm going to do the video without those parts. Anyway and then uh, last but not least is uh, Jason here uh, at People's uh, Welding. Uh, he did some of my specialty aluminum welding for me and I want to give extra special thanks to Jason for helping me out because everything I'm doing is really detailed and uh, Precision so and he's done a great job for me. So anyway, uh, what I want to start off with today though is I just want to show a couple pictures um, on the parachutes um, <clears throat> Basically, this is what I started with a bunch of parts um, I had a seamstress her name is Linda. She did an awesome job of building my parachute my parachute bags I provided her the, the uh, pattern which you see in the middle of this photo and then after that she uh, basically built my chutes built my bag she did everything um, unbelievable job and then after that I started I had to build the spring launches for the inside the parachute bags and that's a picture of those and then there is the spring launches inside the bags that she built me uh, she, like I said she did an awesome job and then there's the chute with one of the bags and there's a quarter there for reference and uh, then we come down here then I had to start building the framework for the back of the boat to hold the parachute so there's that and then, then there's the bags and the chutes and everything mounted to that framework there. And then the other thing is my uh, injector that I built uh, for the top of the Conley Stinger 609 engine. Basically, this is what I started off with. Um, you saw on part three, at the end of part three, you saw the injector that I built. Well, this is kind of what I started with. Um, it was a crazy thing to build, um, but I had to do it. And there's some of the parts there. Um, I had to take those fittings and then make those into that shape there. Then after that, I went down there and then I had to mount everything in my drill press and then uh, drill for the butterfly shaft. And then I had to build the butterfly shaft. That was a, a journey in itself, um, building that thing, cutting it halfway down the flat in the front and round on the ends. And that was uh, hours and hours and hours. And then here's a picture of the butterfly shaft and those parts installed into that. And then here is um, the front of the injector. Um, and there's some par parts of the base plate for the bottom of it. And then I had to start building my sides, the bottom. The so there's that, and then that started building there. And then after that, I had to build a fiberglass back for it. 
And um, basically, I'm going to give you guys all a recommendation. Uh, Florists use this foam for building uh, floral arrangements. It's really soft foam, and it sands away real easy. Well, that's what I did in this picture here. Um, I, took, I took this foam, and then I shaped it all out, and then I did my fiberglass over it, and then the foam pops right out of the back of it when you're done. And then it kind of looks like this. All right, and then after I'm putting it all together, you know, like what you guys saw on the previous video, um, is basically it looks like this. And then I had it water dipped um, at Hydro Dip here in Meridian, Idaho, and I had a bunch of my other parts done in purple carbon fiber, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, let me go back to Jerry over at the cutting shop. Let me explain what he does for me. Okay, um, he does CNC router table cutting. Now, what I'm showing you here is a drawing of parts that I drew out. So basically, I draw everything in pencils. Like this, there's the hinge assembly that's going to end up opening and closing my <coughs> capsule. And that's going to be the hinges for that. Um, there's the grab handles for the capsule. Um, and then here's the back of the capsule, uh, which is going to contain the flat back. And there's going to be some openings there for digital gauges. And then down here, I'm also getting crazy detailed and I'm doing blower restraints also for the uh, Conley Stinger 609 engine. So there's my bottom ones so that will go by the headers. And then here's the one that will basically go over the center of the uh, supercharger and then straps will be hooked to those parts. So after I draw the drawings out, okay? And then after I do the drawings, then Jerry takes it at the cutting shop and then the lines are really faint. I don't know if you can see very well. But um, anyway, what he does is then he, uh, basically what he does is then he enters everything into his computer and then he makes my parts. And so I just tell him the thicknesses of the aluminum I need, um, you know, the, the grade of aluminum I want, and then he just cuts out the parts. And then after he cuts the parts out, they kind of look like this. So there's the parts. Um, some of these are just random parts. I have extras. I actually have probably enough parts to build a whole other boat if I wanted to. So, um, but these are some of the parts that I've had him cut me out um, over the period of the last several months. And then what I do after these parts, like there's a steering wheel, um, the butterfly steering wheel, and then I actually got crazy. I actually made grips for this thing and everything, and they're anodized now. But these parts are either, I either drill holes in them, I got to thread them, I got to cut them, shape them a little bit more, uh, polish them, uh, anodize them. Etc. So I just got some parts back from the anodizing shop, which I just showed you guys. And so here's some of those parts now that, that are finished and they're anodized. Now you also see here at the end those three circles. Those are butterflies that I did for the injector. I did a set in purple and I did a set, set in red. I really wasn't sure what I wanted to go with because I'm going with white and purple on this boat to match Problem Child. And so I did the purple butterflies and with the purple carbon fiber I did on the injector is just too much purple so I'm gonna go with the red I think um, anyway so but here's the steering wheel and it's all polished and bent and shaped and you'll see next to it laying there those are the grips um, for right and left top and bottom so it's got it's got grips for the steering wheel and then here's all the other parts I've been polishing like a madman um, trying to get a perfect mirror finish on all these parts um, just trying to make everything this close to perfect as I can, you know, this is getting a Conley Stinger 609 engine, so um, the rest of this boat's got to be equally as awesome as that engine, so um, basically this is, there's a bunch of the parts there that are polished, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and then show you um, what I had done over at Hydro Dip here in Meridian, Idaho. I had the stringer uh, in my boat that I built, all aluminum, um, this thing here is all done in uh, purple carbon fiber. I don't know if this video is picking it up very well or not, but um, it, it's the same purple. It's PPG Twyla Purple, and basically I did the purple and then gave it, to, those guys took care of it. Um, and like there's the, there's the mount for the blower straps. Um, that'll go right in between the two carburetors on the Stinger 609, and then the straps will attach there, and then go to those other other pieces that are anodized purple. Um, the the uh, transom plate in the back of my boat um, is also done in purple carbon fiber, and um, it's done. It's turned out beautiful. And then I also had the valve covers done. Gary Conley was awesome. He sent me the valve covers so I could get this process done. The guys at the, uh, at the shop, they wanted to dip all the parts at the same time so everything would match. So the valve covers are done. i got to get these sent back to Gary. 
And then I did the, uh, the, the fuel tank brackets um, are also done in purple carbon fiber. And also the mounting plates for the transfer case and the dual V drives. And so all those polished parts are going to get bolted back into these awesome looking parts. And um, it's going to be just beautiful when it's done. But let me take a look here, show you the highlight here. Take a look at this. Look, there's my injector all done now. Um, it's awesome. It turned out beautiful. I'm really happy with it. Uh, matter of fact, the video that uh, Hydro Dip provided me, it's about, like I said, about a minute and a half long. They um, did the video of this part right here. They dipped this particular part in the video. Um, I don't know what's wrong with this camera. This camera, sometimes it picks up purple, sometimes it picks it up as blue. I don't know what the deal is, but it's actually a bright purple, and you'll be able to see that in the uh, video. But there it is with uh, uh, red butterflies in it. It's all put together. It turned out really, really nice. Um, and also, just let you know, too, when I built this injector, I'm going to grab it here real quick. I'm going to flip it over. Um, on the bottom of this thing, as you'll see here, um, there's the mounting plate. This plate here actually comes out and when it comes out then this air filter actually goes inside. So there's an actual air filter that goes inside the uh, injector there and then this is the mounting plate here that actually attaches to the carburetors on the engine and then basically this fits like this when it's all bolted together and then the, this T fitting here is for the uh, crankcase evacuation lines to come off the valve covers on the Conley engine. So anyway, so that's all built, it's all done. Now, um, let me show you the parachute real quick. Um, the parachute deal here is there's the mounting bracket and everything that I built for, the, uh, for that. It's done. Um, here's the parachute. Um, I took one out just so I could show the, you know, there's the, there's the spring. Um, launch so basically when the chute's packed in there this is pushed down and when they pull the pin it actually does throw the chute out so it should work just fine when the boat's all done and there's a, the chute so now um, like I said I, there is going to be a video at the end of this but I want to show one quick little thing I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it but I want you guys to see this check this out this is what I've been working on there's the capsule to the little boat that I have over there and there's the roll cage. I'm also building a fully detailed roll cage that's going to be going into this one. But as I pan back, take a look at the bigger one. So that's what I've been working on. The next video, number five, is all going to be about the capsule. I still have, obviously, see the line there. I still have to cut out for the capsule to open and close and put my gas struts in there and everything in the roll cage. And then there's the back panel um, that's going to contain the gauges. And everything so there's a little sneak peek of what's coming up in video five but anyway um, thanks again everyone this is awesome it's uh, coming together really good um, the engine uh, hopefully will be here shortly um, if, I would encourage everybody if you're interested on what's seeing what's going on with the engines go to Conley Precision Engines and go on to weekly updates and you can actually see uh, updates from Gary about what's going on with this batch of engines and he has detailed photographs and uh, explain the storyline of what's going on. So check it out. All right. Well, anyway, thanks again. All right. Uh, this is the end. Take care. We'll see you.